another Jimmy Lang boxing promotion, our 15th headliner for Jimmy. Uh, as expected, this was talked about as a beltway brawl, and I think it lived up to that in all regards. The guys went toe to toe. So uh, we're going to say congratulations to Tony Getter for coming to Jimmy's hometown and fighting his ass off and putting in a great effort. We'll give him the first opportunity to say two words. Oh my gosh, thank you Jimmy Lang, thank you Ice Promotions, thank you Johnny Lang, thank you JD. Um, I know JD was there when I lost to Jose Felix last December um, when I had a 101 temperature and um, you know I didn't look my best. But I'll tell you, I, I, I felt like I came to fight. It was a rough fight. Dirk, Jimmy is a tough fighter. I'm a tough fighter. And I think both of us put on one of the toughest fights you'll ever see in this area. And it couldn't have been without me or him. It took both of us to do it. So I think everybody give it up for both for that fight. That, that gave everybody something they got their money for. And J.B. Brown always puts on a phenomenal show. He's probably one of the best matchmakers in the country. So um, I just, I'm just excited, I'm happy. Um, Jetta Promotion, we, we do our own promoting, so I'm just trying to build my brand and Ice Promotions and Lang Boxing. Um, they're, they're the premier boxing in this area. And it, it's been an honor, it's my fourth time fighting here, and um, I think the Patriot Center has showed me love, and I'm, I was happy to fight here. Were you surprised he stayed on the ring so much? Um, I knew I was going to press him. I, I, I'll tell you, I, I knew that I was in phenomenal shape, and they, you know, they, they had that that plan that they were going to take me deep. But I was doing 15 rounds in the gym with plastic, body shield, sparring. I was just beating my sparring partners up, and I had sparring partners that were tougher than me. What happened on the night then? Um, he just caught me. I mean, you know, I, I, in boxing, I'll tell you. You know, I got caught. You know, the, the, the thing though is I got up. You know, that, that's, that's the test of a real fighter. And I got up and I kept going. I wasn't like, ooh, you know. You know, I never thought about it. Jimmy hit me with some good shots. Jimmy is a, a hell of a fighter. I mean, that guy is the best. He's done more for this area than any other fighter in the last 30, 40 years. There's no other fighter in this area that has done more for boxing and it was a pleasure to fight him. I, I you know, I, I love Jimmy Lang and I couldn't say anything bad about him. I still don't want to say anything bad about what him. What did Smoker say to you in those several times? I mean he told me I was a dirty fighter, but you know, Jimmy fights rough. You know, I think I don't think it was much as a dirty fight as a rough fight. Jimmy hit me low, I hit him low. He hit me low multiple times. He had his shorts up high, you know, he head butted me, I got knots on my head, I head butted him. You know, I've watched multiple fights. I got him on tape where he's hitting guys in the back of the head. He's hitting them on the break. You know, it's just boxing. You know, I, he hit me. I told him, good shot. I saw that. I said, great shot. You know what I mean? But um, it was just a phenomenal fight. And take nothing away from Jimmy. I couldn't have done it without him. And I think those are the type of fights this area needs. And everybody says Jimmy doesn't want to step up. I don't want to step up. Fuck. They, there you go. That was a step up. That was a step up, everybody. Nobody can say that we didn't just fight. That was a real. That was the real deal. From start to finish, I pressed and came forward. Did I take some shots? Yeah. I, I, nobody said I was Pernell Whitaker. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I like Jimmy Lang, gave the fans what they wanted to see. They wanted to see blood, sweat, tears, knockdowns, just straight up slugging. And that, that's why people pay fifty to five hundred dollars come to a fight. And uh, it was a pleasure to fight here. Did it him saying he didn't care for you that much, did that motivate you any? No, I, I, I knew that. He, you know, I will tell you what is your name? Ron Harris. Ron. I will tell you Ron, I just as like I said, I have a promoter's license. We promote shows, small shows, nothing big like this in Maryland. But I always feel like my back's against the wall. Like people always are envious. Nobody, just like Jimmy, everybody hates on Jimmy because everybody hates a winner. If you're doing good, people are jealous of you. And um, it, yeah, it, it, so that being said, if somebody says something about me, I always think everybody's against me. In my, in my heart, I, I only have a couple people that I know have my back. Everybody else, I don't trust anybody. You know, and that's just how I, how I go about it. You know, and it, it's helped me to this point, and um, you know, I feel like when I transition, because I'm only going to box another year, and then we'll just promote straight. And um, 
you know, I, I just feel like that's going to help me the rest of the way. I'm, I'm rated 30th in WBC right now. Hopefully I'll ask for an exception. They'll give me a bump in the ratings. We're going to come back in February. We'll fight however, whoever will do another 10-rounder. The WBC likes me. I have my, just as I said, we, and I, hopefully I'll get into the top 15, you know. And I just like I said, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. But a fight like that was a fight. That, that should have been a pay-per-view fight right there. What, was that a good fight? I mean, I, I didn't get to see it. I, could, I only felt it. Was that a good fight? <laughs> well, was it a good fight? I mean, was, it was, it was a lot of quiet. I mean, was it a good fight? Of course it was. Right. So, so, you know, I gave the people what they wanted to see. Let's give John Lang a chance to, to have the mic here and talk about the fight tonight. John, please. Yeah, I just... <laughs> I don't like the mic. I don't, I don't even like it anymore. You got it? And I, I asked Jimmy not to attend this press conference unless we could have the judges that called it attended to. But I mean, I, I went to the eighth grade and I'm not no rocket scientist, but I can put together points. Jimmy would have had lost, lose seven rounds to have just fought the court to be a draw. He had four points taken away in the night. That's five points. I, I take my hat off to Tony. Tough. One of the best street fighters I've seen in a long time. And like I say, he won the fight, put a big dent in our expectations on what we we're going to do. And we've got no excuses. I'd like to hear the excuses the commission has for, putting, for judging that fight. I'd just like to see the scorecards. I'd like to see how they judged it, how many rounds Tony won, how many rounds did Jimmy not win a round? You know what I No way. Would they have it? 97, 92? And another guy had it 97. What they have? 94, 94, 92. 94, 94, 94, 94, 94, 94, 94, 94 91. 92 for Lang. 94, 91 for Lang. 94, 91 for Getter. 93, 92 for Okay, well, I don't see, I can't put those numbers together. I can't put those numbers together. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rethink. Hey, we don't want Tony Jetter again. No, we wouldn't fight him unless he wants to fight in his own gym. Pay us the kind of money that we deserve, the kind of money we paid him. We'll fight him on his own home turf. <coughs> but I ain't coming back to Virginia until we give him a long, hard look. And I thought we won the fight. I don't say we won it the way we should have won it. But I felt we won the fight. Close <coughs> fight. And uh, hey, Tony's got a W, Jimmy's got a, uh, an L. And, uh, Case is closed. Was it strategy for him to land on the ropes like that? No. No. He didn't fight the best fight. He fought a piss poor fight. Okay? But he didn't lose it. And like I say, Tony can ballet who all he wants to. And I like, I mean, the like him. I don't like Tony. Okay? So I'm not going to say here, I like Tony. I don't even know Tony. So as far as a fighter, hell of a fight. Tough son of a bitch. That's all But. As far as those scorecards go, let me hear Costello tell me how he came to that, came to his score. Mathematically, I went like I say, I went, I, I went up to arithmetic. I never even got the real math, you know, and, and I can add how many points were lost when the back down and four points taken away. Was Tony stronger than you thought? No, we knew Tony was strong. Well, it's all we heard about is how he could pop. That's all we heard of. I mean, I didn't see him stagger Jimmy once. I mean, he had a cut head from a headbutt. He had a hit <coughs> on the eye from a punch. Could have had this fight stop on the headbutt. Could have had a stop. Could have had a stop in the seventh round, eighth round. <coughs> but we didn't want it to stop. And, 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 and when the referee said, what do you think? Nah, we don't want to stop. We thought we won the fight. We won it by calculations. I mean, how many how many points can you can you how many rounds can you lose? You had to have a 10 take. six round. You had a knockdown and two points taken away. 
It's a 10 6 round, ain't it? Okay. Well, then you had to have three more 10 8 rounds, or at least 10 9 rounds, with three, point, three more points taken away. So, how do you come? I mean, a draw at the most. But I'm not, you know, that's crybaby bullshit. We're going to do what we think is best. We don't feel like we want to fight in front of the judges that we fought in front of tonight again. We feel like we got a fight taken away from us. It set us back enormously. And we're going to consider what our next step is going to be. All right, two questions. First of all, number one, at any time did you ask for Steve Smoker to disqualify Tony Jeff? To do what? To disqualify. Absolutely Jeff. not. Okay. Not ever. Okay. Not Se once. Second question. What was the reason for, for Smoger in the ring instead of Joe Cooper that had been there? You'll have to ask the commission. We didn't know that. We didn't even know he was going to be. We asked the commission. He, they picked the referees. I mean, what, what difference could Cooper have been? Tony mauled the guy. He mauled my guy. He had him up against the ropes 75% of the time. He held him. He got him. I mean, Come on, that's the way he fights. But we knew that, so there's no surprises. Hey, I hope he goes. I hope he goes ahead and wins the title. Let him fight somebody like Harry Joe York. Yeah, we'll put boy. that. We'll put, oh, oh, oh. we'll put that fight. On. We'll yeah. put that fight on <laughs> at the Patriot Center on March the fourth. We'll put that fight on. Good night. What, what do you want? I asked for that question. Go ahead and ask. Um, Tony, were you kind of apprehensive about going that many rounds? You've never gotten that many rounds in your career. Did yeah. you think that? I knew I was in phenomenal shape. I knew I could have handled it. I knew that if he if he would have boxed me, it would have been a lot harder. And I thought he was going to move for me. And I was going to chase him down, but um, he didn't. He, he stayed there right with me, so it made it easy for me. Um, and I knew once he was going to stand there with me, it was going to be my type of fight. But if I would have had to chase him and he would have moved, because he was 6'1", he has long arms, he could have stayed on the outside and boxed me and it would have made it way, way harder. He'd have been throwing looping shots. But just so everybody knows, I have my own promoter's license, Jetta Promotions. We're bonded, everything. Our next show will be February. I'm going to do my own thing and I'm going to defend this green title. I have my own, my, not, not against Harry Yorgi. Hey, Harry can fight with my card, though. I like you, Harry. I've talked to you before. But um, we're going to do our own thing. We're going to get rated in the top 15. I have a, a good relationship with the WBC, and um, they like me. And um, so we're going to do our own thing. And um, like any promotion, we're going to do the smart thing. The only reason why I fought Jimmy Lang was because I knew I could beat him. And deep down in my um, heart, I thought I could beat him, but I knew it'd be tough. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come here because I wanted to make a ton of money, or because we could do our own thing. We're doing our own thing. We have a, a nice little thing we're doing in Maryland. It's not big like this. I mean, this is like the Lamborghini of pro boxing in this area. You know, we got more of like a Pinto type promotion, but uh, it's nice. You know what I mean? We're, we're able to get you know five to eight fights on. You know, get some fights going, and um, Jimmy was tough as hell. Tony, Take nothing away from Mike. From me. <clears throat> talking to Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Jim, Jimmy was tough as hell. Take nothing away from him, and um, we're just gonna continue to do our thing, Jet Promotions. And just like I said, it was a, it was a pleasure to fight on um, Ice Promotions and Lang Promotions card and to box against Jimmy Lang. And Jimmy Lang is a legend in this area, and I do like Jimmy. Lang. I like Johnny Lang, I like J.D. Brown, I like Jackie Cowan in it. If I would have lost, I would have still came to you and said the same thing. I would have never been affected by winning or losing. Yes, yeah. you like more people than I like in the whole world. In this world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nice guy. I don't need to be a dick. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I just, I just, I think ultimately, I mean, boxing, I'm, I'm just, but, and I tell everybody, I could be a nice guy, but we hit that ring, I'm gonna be like I told you why I kill. Straight kill. Like we don't need to be friends in the ring, but like I don't need to be a jerk with somebody at the at the press conference or whatever. Or the you know, the weigh-in or whatever. But um
once again, phenomenal card. I don't know what the attendance was. It looked like they had a lot of people, and, um, and I think everybody got their money's worth. Once again, from top to bottom, an excellent card. What was your weight walking into the ring? Um, I was probably like 166. I didn't put that much back on. <clears throat> Shit, my last fight, I woke up the next day at 63. I just fought <coughs> a few weeks ago. So, shit, that, it, that, that's another thing that everybody in this room, room don't know. I just went five rounds five weeks ago. Had a cut, had a cut in the middle of my head, in the top of my head. And I told J.D. Brown, I said, J.D., if I get cut, I'll still fight. Did I tell you that? And did I still fight? I definitely had a cut here and on my, the top of my head, and I still went ahead and fought five weeks ago. <clears throat> Mentioning J.D., I want to publicly recognize and thank him for uh, probably our most competitive part in a long, long time. We had a good mix of some familiar faces. Harry Joe Yorgi showed that, that he's back in, in world-class form, and we want to thank him for joining us. We had, a lot of, we had a lot of new prospects. Some of them stepped up and, and showed that they're ready to go to the next level, and I, I think there was a couple surprises along the way for some other folks. Uh, so we want to thank everybody for putting on a great show. JD, once again, thank you. Um, I'm going to say if there's any other questions for any uh, anybody here. Tony, who would you like to call? I thought you fight a good fight tonight. You stuck to the plan. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> and, and, and the plan is this. We prepare the fight, and we fight the win. You got to be able to do this thing as a two. So when we, so when we prepare, there's only one thing we have in mind. That's win. On the enemy necessary. That's what I like about this kid. The first thing I told him, I said, I want you to go back to your roots, where you come from, when there was no fear. And go in the ring and take care of your business and execute. And you did an outstanding job. That's Charles Denny. He's an undefeated fighter from back in the 80s. He trained at round one under Adrian Davis. He's my head coach. What up, Charles Denny? He's training really hard. Good, good up and coming coach. Johnny Orient. Johnny Orient, that's a hell of a statement, but I think that. Let's get it on. Harry Gill, you're in this guy over here for that job. <laughs> Last question, we're going to go to Kurt with uh, FightNews.com. Yeah. Who, who would you like to fight next? I mean, um, talking about, you know, moving up in the WWE. I'll tell you, Kirk, um, we're just going to chill. Just like I said, I just fought five weeks ago a main event on the car. I promoted. I did the matchmaking. I did everything with a lot, a lot of stress in the last five weeks. So I just want to chill for a minute. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back in um, 2013, February. And um, we're going to pick the right fights just to move up in the WBC. And um, Harry Joe, you're not on my list, but I'd love to have your young fight on my card. You know, we, we, we come down and fight. We got um, James Stevens, got a bunch of people um, in Baltimore we could um, do some good matchmaking with. So, um, and we're trying to bring the WBC in for a couple fights, so. <clears throat> but um, I, I have no idea who, who we're gonna Are go Are they with. dictating that you fight a certain fighter? Nah, they, they just, they, they really like me and they said, you know, they'll give me an exception for this one. I'm gonna ask for, for them to give me an exception in the ring. That Jimmy was ranked in WBC before, so we'll see. But um, you know, at this point, we just need to talk to him and get it set up for February. Right now, I just want to chill. I got a wedding to go to next weekend, and I just want to just not think boxing for a couple weeks because I I've been boxing every single day for months. Just that's all I've done: either promoting, matchmaking, or um fighting so it's been, it's final been question mike here yeah you told me before that you got to 15 and 3 you would have been pumped and you said the next step was to get to 20 and 3. so you said one year left are you gonna you willing to extend it beyond a year oh uh, probably not i mean you know i could still talk and i still have half a brain so i don't want to i don't want to leave it you know um, basically marble mouth you know, so probably another year. Maybe I'll fight a couple times on Keystone's card in D.C. and we'll do maybe three or four shows of our own at our gym. And I'll, you know, I you know, and just go from there. But once again, I just it was a phenomenal show. Ice Promotions, Jimmy Lang. Really, it was an honor being in the ring. I, I just I, I'm thankful for the opportunity that I was given tonight. And Jimmy Lang, 
by far the toughest guy I've ever been in the ring with. So um, class act, good fight, and um, you know, I'm happy I got the victory. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank Don. you. Oh, really?